Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video on the Bazoo FX trading. So traders, today I wanted to show you uh, the strategy that made me over 3,000 US dollars trading gold, guys. Guys, most of you know gold is my favorite pair to trade, you know. I'm going to be showing you how I took, I caught a very big move on gold, you know, trading with FXV as my broker, guys. So if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe and let me jump on my screen so that I can show you how I was able to make 3,000 US dollars trading gold. So traders, I was able to catch this big move on gold, you know. I literally even made a forecast on my previous video as i was showing you the easy strategy any beginner trader can use to start making money from the market and again if you followed gold guys you would have seen how gold has played out i told you guys me i don't just jump out and start analyzing gold just like this and then get trades I, i've been analyzing gold for the past you know so literally every level that gold reaches on i'm monitoring it so gold played out the way we wanted uh let me put on my gold right now so you guys can see so traders this is my gold pair as you can see very very clear so i made the video and price was currently i think around this zone right here this zone right here even though i had already caught a move here but I, price was currently here so i explain to you guys that anytime when you have a ranging market a ranging market we only have to see only two outcomes price has to either break out or either on the upper side or the downer side you know so the uh now what made really price play out is actually very sad that there is that war that is happening right now in uh, Gaz Gazland. I think that is between uh, Israel and and Palestine. So that war is what made gold price go up. If you analyze all the wars that have been happening, they have been they have made making the price of gold skyrocket. So if you go and look at the war that uh, between Russia and Ukraine, again the price of gold went up crazy. I will even show you that. So for those that don't know this is the time when ukraine was invaded this part right here so this is the part where ukraine was invaded this part right here as you can even see how price shot up crazy you know that is the time when ukraine was invaded by russia but now since this is a war that is happening right now between in Gazland, between those two countries so this is what has been happening this is what has been happening as you can see as and again price played out very well so guys let me show you how i took this trade so again as i, as I mentioned price is always going to give us two outcomes whenever it's ranging in between like this but the special thing here we had uh, in, uh we had nfp and nfp is the first is it always happens in the first friday of every month and nfp stands for non farm power so this is the effect that we had here so again as i mentioned news events always happen whenever we have whenever price is at a turning point so you can see this is a turning point that i mean okay turning point means support or resistance so price was currently at a support zone like this you can see traders so price broke through went down you see take out people's liquidity and then pulled back and close from this side so meaning here they're just trapping people to make people think that price is okay now going down you know but in actual sense here price gave us you see this is one two three triple bottom obviously unless when you also consider this part right here but if you're only considering these weeks right here this would look like a triple bottom which is a reversal pattern to the downside so now for me my main key thing was to see this candle here this other green candle close from back inside so after this candle closing back from inside i waited for this other candle to open and then retrace a small percentage yes g63 <laughs> so what i wanted for what i waited for is this new candle to open and then just retrace a little bit on this other candle right here so if you zoom in very well traders you're going to see that you can see this candle here it op it it opened and first pushed down as you can see then after price this other candle started pushing back up so me what i did i waited until this candle also closes then i took my trade on this new candle here you can even see price started going up crazy you see traders on this other candle right here so i took my trade on this candle and i've been holding my trade ever since so let me show you traders so I took my trade here exactly right there putting my stop loss just above here so i always put my stop loss exactly like that line so this would even uh-huh so right as you can even see so let me explain again here so you can see anytime when you have price so i was considering this part right here but i'll even make it more easy for traders to understand so again this is the support zone right here so we have this red line this red kind of breakthrough and this other green kind of comes back and close from inside so meaning this is just a weak rejection you see traders so meaning price has to it's supposed to go up but again back of my mind i knew price was supposed to shoot up again not just knowing obviously we had an imbalance in here up here and also we, we had had this big move from up here to down here which is an impulsive move so meaning price has to, had to retrace 
and also if i'm to add my fibonacci retracement from swing high to swing low like this you can see that price had to come back up there which is my what price had to come up here so i'll mark out this zone right here you see price had to come to that zone which is 0.6 level reason why this is again a, a, a price had to retrace price had to retrace like at any point so you can see so this is what we had now the main key thing that now pumped price to really go up was now uh the situation that is happening right now you know that poor it's what now made price shoot up crazy like this you can see traders and price exactly went to my take profit which was this one right here you see traders and this is how i caught this big move you know taking out more than 320 pips you know risking only 20 pips guys imagine risking 20 pips on a pair like gold you know and this is how this guys anytime when you're trading the forex market and then you hear about news events and now you can see this news event happened during the week weekend so meaning it was obviously you had to just use your brain psychologically when markets open again what is the price of commodities going to do obviously supply is being cut off so meaning remaining gold in situation is going to the price is going to quite off skyrocket like the result is that effect we know the effect is not going to be very big but for us here the effect we see it, it's big because if price can move 300 pips you know to the upper side that is crazy traders so this is what we have seen so let's see how things go we are praying that the situation that side doesn't escalate you know because the more it escalates obviously people are going to be making money but obviously we don't want people to lose their lives so we're just praying that that situation goes down traders but again this is how you catch really good money traders you can see i had my next entry here so let me show you even a smaller time frame for for proper confirmation that you guys can show you so that you guys can see so this is this was the proper confirmation traders you can see so again, as I mentioned, I added price to retest the previous candle. So this is more of the previous candle. And this was the retest. So price came up to this zone right here. <coughs> this zone right here. You can see this. And then after, it reached that part right there for my confirmation and gave me another confirmation candle, which is an engulfing candle. This one right here. You see these two candles. This and this one. This is an engulfing candle. So meaning anyone would have taken even a trade up here. This would be another nice entry you can see traders so guys if you knew about the retracement that price had to retrace you would have taken this nice trade without even considering the situation that is happening in the world right now obviously you can see traders now this is what i'm trying to mean you can see this was the retracement the impulsive move that we had from here from here to down here so you can see now this retracement had to come in and not just come in price we still have this fair value here, but price has to fill up. So right now, price has just pushed a little bit down. But again, if I was hedge, if I was leveraging, I would have been, I would have added more positions because price at least has to reach this part up here and fill up all this fair value gap, guys. You see, traders, and that is how you catch gold. You can, I've been literally, guys, analyzing gold for like the past, like I've been analyzing gold from way this side. You can see, traders. I haven't just i don't just start analyzing gold from where it is and then i just take my trades no i have been analyzing so every part price reaches i'm patient enough to wait for price to play out and then give me that major major move and then i'm able to catch like big money you know so traders that is how you catch uh that's it doesn't make money in the forex market any ammo that you want as uh blessed enough to catch uh three thousand us dollars and I'd, I'd not risk much i'd use the 0 0.50 lot size so I had used to 0 0.050 lot sizes, that is uh, equal one lot size, which is the standard lot size. I multiply it by uh, 320 pips, that is how much I made, guys, from the forex market. So, guys, make sure to uh, watch this video, we watch it as much time as you can. You know, there's no rocket science in trading, you just have to trade the what you see, you don't trade what you don't see. You can see traders on our uh for our h4 you can see price was very very clear momentum is already there you can see even how momentum built up on this one candle right here giving us again another engulfing candle here again price giving us another triple bottom again making sure that we see the triple bottom you see one two three this is now now a higher time frame can see traders you see when you check your daily time frame everything again was very clear you see traders we had a consolidation on the smaller time frame is you know you know traders and then price plays out for what even on this on the uh daily time from still we had this imbalance you can see this imbalance from here to here you can see how price filled it up you see traders uh, guys the broker that i'm using is fx view best, best spreads on every pair and mostly gold best spreads you know you never want to uh, pay a lot of money in commissions to your broker when you're trading a pair like gold you know so traders if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in my next
Peace.